Friends, buddies, pals, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. Gear, equipment, gadgets, bits and pieces, and stuff. Whatever you want to call it. We all need stuff to go out there and do what we do on the rivers. I'm always on the lookout for new stuff. I'm always trying to tweak my gear, my systems, and that kind of thing, just to make things you know, more efficient and comfortable on the water. Okay, so this week, guys, I'm gonna run you through my top 10 bits of equipment that I've found and started using this year that I really, really like. Number one. Pants. Now I'm a big fan of wet wading and over the years I've gone between like leggings and shorts and wet wading pants. Now I've always struggled with wet wading pants. I love the idea of them for certain situations but I know I've just never found the right pant that I'm totally happy with and I kind of given up on it to be honest until I came across these guys. So these aren't even a wet wading pant. They're actually a hunting pant from Orvis. They're the Hunting Pro LT pant from Orvis, which is kind of weird because they are easily the best wet wading pant I've ever found. They're super lightweight. These things are super resilient. I mean, I've worn these hard for the last, well, for the whole, pretty much the whole of last summer. And there's a little bit of wear in the knee there, but I mean, to be honest, they're gonna last another season, which is just it's mind blowing to me. They're super lightweight. They're really comfortable. They're kind of, they're, they, they're not stretchy, but they, they kind of feel like they are. It's a weird thing to say. We've got this front panel here down the leg that's kind of like a reinforced kind of fabric. I don't know what it's made of, but it's really, really good. I mean, I go through gorse, Madagari, blackberry, you know, all kinds of scrambling around boulders and rivers and bush bashing, and, and they just take it. They just, they can just handle it. They can handle the jandal and it's, it's amazing. There's not really much to say other than they dry quick. They're super hard wearing. They fit really well. I have trouble finding pants that fit my leg length, width, and then a small enough waist. I've got nothing bad to say about them. I'm, I'm, I love wearing these pants. They look really cool. A nice orange band on the inside. It doesn't actually make any difference to the performance of the pants, but they do look really good. And like I say, I'm gonna get another season out of these, I think, and that's just, uh, that's mind blowing. Number two, <laughs> number two. Number two is this puffer jacket from Orvis. So this is the Orvis Men's Pro Insulated Hoodie. And I live in this thing, it's so good. You've got your hood, you've got your pockets, there's some inside pockets, you know, what you would expect to be on some kind of a, of a jacket. I use this on the river, off the river, when I go to town, great around the camp if you're doing an overnighter. Packs down really small so it doesn't take up too much room and when it gets a bit colder at night. First thing in the morning when you wake up, get out your tent, eat your breakfast, drink your coffee. <sighs> this thing is brilliant. Hood comes up, zips right up and you're just toasty. Number three, this guy. This is the Orvis Pro Lightweight Rain Jacket. I used to wear a brown one for a couple of seasons. That was just the Orvis Pro Jacket. This is the lightweight version. I took a bit of a gamble with it going lightweight. I was wondering whether or not it would be as waterproof, as warm, that kind of thing. I was really happy to find out that it's every bit as good as the other one, but just packs down smaller, it's lighter, looks cool. Uh, I've got a grey one up here too, the same same style jacket, but just in a grey. I've done a few months with this now, and uh, so far, super happy with it. And we were coming into winter, it was kind of end of the season, so the weather was getting pretty bad, some really rainy days, and it handled it like a dream. Like it. Four, last one of the clothing lot, I promise, but the Combat Merino from Bushbuck, solid. Love these, I did a video in more depth on these, a few weeks back, but these combat thermals here, phew, super cool. Best thermals I've found for sure. Number five, these tacky fly boxes from Fishpond. Started using them, I guess, at the beginning of the season, uh, and these I love. They're really, really cool. They're real thin, they're magnetic opening. These ones aren't particularly waterproof, but only because I dropped them and I've smashed like the side off them and that kind of stuff. Otherwise, they're really good. This uh, this tacky stuff here that you actually put your flies in, it's really hard wearing and grips your flies well so they don't fall out even when you do drop them on the rocks. Like them. I like the fact that they, uh, they're nice and thin so you can get lots of them in, uh, in my hip pack. I also like how the top of the fly box is clear so you can see what flies are in it before you open it and you can get a lot of flies in them. So yeah, very, very cool. Very happy with those. I'll definitely keep using them. All right, six. Not the hip pack, 
But this orange thing that is on the hip pack, the trash dash. You know, I've actually met quite a few of you on the rivers now that I've seen have been using these. So good on you guys. Thanks for going out and buying these. They're just such a good idea. It's only a few bucks and it's a game changer as far as what you're gonna do with that waistline on the river. Really, really cool. This is where I have mine just on my hip pack, but just hang it off your vest, hang it off your bag, whatever you, whatever system you use, you'll be able to find somewhere for this. So you're just gonna take your waistline, pop it in there, wind it up, take it home, chop it up, put it in the bin, job done. Absolutely genius. If you wanna grab one of these, link's in the description below. If you click on that link, I'll get a couple of bucks from each purchase. Goes towards this channel. Seven. Sleeping bag. This sleeping bag from Bushbuck. I love it. It's become my new favorite thing. Now this one is, this one is called, I should know this by now, but I just don't. It's the, it's the, I should know all this. I use it heaps. I should know it. Ah, here we go. This is the Ignis 800. This is the heavier of the two options. There's a lighter weight one, and then there's this one, which is a bit warmer. Just because of the weather we get in New Zealand, I'd rather be too warm and have to open my bag than be uh, fully wrapped up and freezing my nuts off. So that's why I went for this one. But super comfortable, just, ah, it's like sleeping in a big fluffy cloud. So all the Bushbuck stuff, the link's in the description below, as with pretty much everything else. I use, and uh, yeah, go check them out. If you're looking for a new sleeping bag, definitely check out this guy. Number eight, number eight are these guys. These sunnies from Skeleton Optics. I started using them this year and really, really like them. These are the Renegades. They do a few other styles as well, which just look stupid on my tiny peanut head. So these ones work well for me. Good protection from the sun. They wrap around a little bit, so it kind of helps keep that glare out when you're on the river and good polarization. The lenses seem really good quality. I think they're called Zeiss lenses. I'm not too sure about that, but I think that's how you say it. And they seem good quality, even after a long day on the water with like really bright sun, never get a headache, any of that kind of stuff. Your eyes don't get tired. So I guess that's a good indication of quality lenses. And I like the way they look. So yeah, so I don't see why I won't be running these for a while. The only thing I don't like is they don't do a low light lens, which I would really like them to do, but it's not all about me, is it? Hopefully, maybe down the track, they might change their mind on that, but for now, that's not an option. Number nine, these guys, Go Native Food. Now, I got onto these probably be end of last season, beginning of this season, I'm not too sure, but I've really got into using these this season. Uh, I've taken them on pretty much every overnight trip I've done, and to be fair, I've even taken them on a day trip. I've even been real lazy sometimes and just eating them at home because I couldn't be bothered to cook and I was editing late. So these aren't freeze-dried, dehydrated meals, they're pre-prepared meals. So this is actual real food in here. What you're actually getting with these is real food that tastes great while you're in the backcountry. Now, granted, they're a little bit heavier than the freeze-dried stuff because it's not freeze-dried. I think that makes a really big difference. So what I would rather do is carry a little bit more weight and actually have proper food, good nutrition when I'm in the bush especially when you're in there for a few days. It makes a big, big difference. They also do the mashed potato, which is dehydrated, and you reconstitute that with boiling water, and this is really, really good mash, actually. Real creamy, doesn't go lumpy, tastes great, really, really good. They do a good range of flavors. They've just brought out a couple of other flavors, which don't think I'm allowed to tell you about yet, but they have a couple more flavors coming out, and there's a pretty good range, to be honest. They also do the snack bars, which is like uh, just, a, just a fruit snack bar, totally natural, low GI, just basically fruit in there and no other preservatives, nothing like that. So, you know, whether you're gluten-free, celiac, vegan, whatever, you can safely have these and they are delicious. They do this size and they do a 45 gram size too, which I can't show you because I ate them all. But good snacks, great food, good range of flavors. If you want my opinion, that one right there, that is top dog, I love that. And number 10, this season I've been testing out a prototype wet wading boot from Orvis. So it's a lightweight wading boot. It's quite hard to say. It's a lightweight wading boot that does away with the neoprene sock. So I was testing it uh, at the end of last summer and they're awesome. I'm super excited about using these again next season. It's like they've taken a boot and a trainer and they've just morphed it into one. It's really cool. Unfortunately, I can't show you that because it's not out until about March next year and I'm not allowed to show you it until probably January, but I just wanted to tell you that there is a new wet wading boot coming out. It's a lightweight one and it's brilliant. Hopefully I can condense this down to like five or six minutes of information that is not boring because I've been yapping on for way too long the beauty of editing. 
Anyway, hope it was interesting. Give me a thumbs up, drop me a comment in the comment section below and all that good stuff. Really helps the algorithm, I think. Anyway, always good to read your comments. Have a great weekend, everyone. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.